Hello, hello, and happy Thursday. Um, just gotta do my side work. Alrighty, we're good to go. So welcome, no one's here yet. Oh, there we go, there's a couple people. Um, it's Thursday, it's three o'clock, our late in the day drawing. Um, hopefully you have all had a good day so far. Hello, hello. Uh, we are continuing with uh, movie week this week. Um, today is Deadpool, so um, some of you probably haven't seen it, um, but um, even if you haven't seen the movie, you probably have at least seen what Deadpool looks like. Um, when I was picking movies, you know, we kind of, uh, I wanted to just mix it up a bit. So do some things that were like, um, we got a lot of boys who requested drawings of Deadpool. So, um, you know, I wanted to make sure and like, look out for the boys too. And then there's girl. I, I love Deadpool. I'm a girl. Um, I also love Ryan Reynolds who plays Deadpool, but that's a whole other story. Not for this group. Um, started to watch Deadpool this morning. No, it is not a movie for kids. It is not a movie for kids at all. Like I, my son is 10 and I still don't think I would let him watch it yet because there's just way too much to explain um, in that movie. It's not a kid's movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> but kids are drawn to him. He is quite funny. Um, you know, he's looking out for the good guy. So... Yeah, he's kind of a funny guy. But no, that is not a kid-friendly movie. Um, and I think he's in Marvel, too. So I think he gets lumped in a lot into, like, the um, so kids start watching. Yeah, no, shouldn't be watching them. Anyway, I think he's funny and sarcastic. And I try to... Um, and ran into it thinking it was dead. No, 49ers. <laughs> um, that's really funny, Terry. Um, so I wanted to make the drawing also like, you know, you can draw him very, very violent um, or not. I really still wanted him to be cute. So we are doing cute. Deadpool. Um, so let me just flip it around. I have no other announcements. I'm just kind of babbling. Kind of, I usually spend the first couple minutes just waiting for people to arrive so I don't start it right away. Um, you know, we're three months in, so we'll say that those that are want to draw are here. And if you're late, then you can always restart it. So let me turn on my light and flip this around. So here is our Deadpool. So um, there is a very common image of Deadpool. I think it was from the movie poster where he is making the heart with the hands. So that's what I've done here. Um, you will see that, uh, man, my little holder is right in the way today. But, um, you know, he does have his, like, blades tucked back behind and Deadpool tacos. So we've got a taco up here. You can um, change that and do something else. But I just, again, I wanted to make him kind of cute versus kind of dark and scary because I think he's cute and he's really quite funny. Um, so you can adjust it as you like. Now I have definitely colored, like some would argue that this is too light because it looks gray and this is too light, um, that it should be really red, but I really wanted things to look 
you know, the gloves I did darker, but then this, if I color that in dark too, it would just blend in with the gloves. I just kind of did that for some separation reasons um, to also make kind of the belt stand out. But if you want to color all of it really dark, I also wanted to be able to see that he was winking an eye. Um, so that's why I've colored him a little bit on the light side, but you can definitely make um, changes to that too if you want to color him in um, darker than he is. Uh, so let's get started. Really, um, the only colors you really need to have for Deadpool are red and black. Um, of course, if you're adding the taco, you're going to have a couple little extra colors in there, but um, primarily you just need the red and the black. So I'm going to get started with Mm, a somewhat circular shape for his head. I am making it a little bit more narrow down by his chin than the top of his head. So it's not really a perfect circle. It's a little smaller down here at the bottom. Clean that up a little bit. Now, for his eyes, I think it's easier to start with just two big ovals on the face. Um, and, you know, if you really are not a Deadpool fan, it is very easy to turn this into a Spider-Man drawing. Deadpool and Spider-Man have a very similar look to them. So um, if you don't want to do Deadpool, you could really kind of do most of what we're doing here and just turn it into Spider-Man by coloring the costume differently. So I'm starting with these ovals, but then I'm going to change the shape inside. So from this corner, I'm actually going to angle down And I'll do the same over here, angle down. And then I'll erase this upper portion of that circle. I just think it's easier to start with the oval and then make your shape sometimes than trying to make this kind of angled shape. And then you'll kind of do the same thing on the bottom, kind of angle it in and angle it in and erase and erase. And that's more of his eye shape. I'm just making some slight adjustments, making some lines a little bit longer. Because remember, we don't always get it perfect the first time. So when we have, to, sometimes we have to go back in and build a little bit off of our original lines. Now his eyes are just little almond shape. Slivers. But I'm gonna have one blinking or winking is the word. So I'm just gonna do a little curve in the other eye. Now for the body, I'm gonna start very simple with lines that come straight down. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this off, but you can close it off with a very fine line because you will end up erasing this line. And now this line I'm going to extend down further. Same on this side, extend it further. Put in his feet, so little hot dog shapes. 
and then bring this up to a V. Same on this side, little hot dog shape for the toes. Come in and then bring up to a V on the other side. Now this line you made actually, you know, if it's depending on where yours is located, you could even use this as the line for the belt. I'm going to erase it because I'm going to make my belt a little bit higher um, on the waist. But depending on how long you made yours, that line might work as the belt. So I'm just going to do a line that comes straight across and a little below it for his belt. And his belt has his face on it too. So I'm just going to put that kind of circular shape in. Erase the lines going across it. Make that angled eye shape, or you can start with the ovals. In this shape, it's pretty small. And now, instead of circles of light, you're just going to make his little oval eyes inside. So you'll leave those little ovals white and you'll color this other portion in dark because the mask around his eyes is dark or black. And then I'm gonna put a line for the boot on each side. And then I'm also gonna put like a leg band. He kind of has these leg bands on. We're only doing part of his little costume design, but I will put a band right here. It's where he actually holds weapons. So we'll put one across one of the legs. Now, for those hands that are shaped like a heart, what I think is easiest is to just start by putting yourself a heart inside the chest. Not too high up. You can move it down a little bit. And you also don't want it too big or you're going to end up with very, very large fingers for the size that he's being drawn. And then now along this heart shape, you're going to kind of do like little hot dog shapes. So I'm just going to take one starting along the edge of this heart and curve it back in. So see, that will be a finger. And then it's curving down here. Another little hot dog shape that comes up. And then you make them on the other side, kind of curving, following that heart curve. Curve here. So when you draw it, you with the pen, you're not going to do the heart first. When I come in with the pen, I'm actually just going to do the outline of the fingers, and then I'll be left with more of a heart shape inside of it. Now this is going to come out, this is going to connect to an arm. So I'm gonna bring an arm straight out from the side where the head meets the neck. And then I will angle it back in so it meets up with this hand. So this curved line that attaches to the hand. 
you can erase this line that's inside. And then you'll do another line coming up from this portion of the hand that's coming back into the body. You will, I guess, have some body line right there. So let's put that little triangle back in. So let's do that again. So we're going to start from where the neck meets the body, the head meets the body, bring it out about even to this side, and then you're going to curve it around for that elbow. Good afternoon, Rosie. And connect it to the hand. And now I'm gonna come from this side, bring this arm in, and I'll connect it to the body. So then I'll end up erasing this line and I'll end up erasing this line. And it'll just have this tiny line at the bend of the elbow. <coughs> For his um, blades, you're going to start a rectangle a long skinny rectangle and you're going to do it just a little bit away from the corner of the face and draw a line that angles up. Take it in and then take it back down until you run into either the head or the neck depending on where you started it. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side. A line that angles up. You want them about the same length. That one's a little bit long, so I'll just cut it when I do the line in. And then you bring that blade down until you run into the face. And there's his two swords. He has kind of a, um, like a strap that goes across his body. So I'm going to put that line here now, you can do one of two things. You can just draw right through the hands if that's easier for you. And then put your other one right through the hands or you can jump the hand line. So jumping the hand line, I would come up to the finger, hop to the other side, up to the finger, hop to the other side and up to the side of the body. So since on this side I didn't jump the hand lines, I would erase the tiny little marks that are inside the finger. So those are the two different ways. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. So you're just coming either all the way through it and then don't go through it when you do your pen, although it doesn't really matter, right? Because these are colored in black anyways, ways, anyways. ways anyways. <laughs> or you can take the line and stop, jump to the other side, continue, stop, jump to the other side. So those are two different ways to do it. And then I'm just going to do little angled lines right here for gloves because I'm going to color those black. I'm going to add little shoulder, almost like he has shoulder pads on. So I'm going to come into the side of the body. What did 
did I do? I angled in. Okay, sometimes I lost, I lost my angle there. So I'm angling in, bringing it to the blade, same thing, coming through the other side. I jumped it, or I could have just done that line right through. And then I'm going to do a little curve line at the arm. I'm going to do some little black stripes on the arms. And then I'm going to put some little panels on his sides. So one on this side and one on this side. And on this side, I'm going to run into the, the strap. So I'm just going to go to the strap and then finish it on the other side. And then I'm going to have his little thought bubble. And then inside, I'm gonna draw that taco. We've done a taco before, so we're just doing a half circle. I'll do a little angled line up. And then I'm just gonna fill this space with some wavy lines for both meat or lettuce. I'll do some curves for tomatoes, some little stick shapes for cheese. And you're just, again, I'll just kind of zoom in on that. You're just making lots of little funny shapes and when you color those in, you'll end up with what looks like a taco. There's something in the movie that has to do with tacos because you see a lot of Deadpool um, stuff with um, tacos, a lot of shirts. Maybe it's a taco truck. I don't, it's been so long since I've seen the original movie. So if someone in here is like a Deadpool fan and has seen it more frequently, you can explain the tacos. Okay, now I'm going to do the outline. And you could draw something different in there. You don't have to do the taco. <laughs> hey there, lady. How are you, Maddie? Or as I, what did I used to call you? I called you Larry, didn't I? And I was... Mo, or maybe I was curly. <laughs> oh, memories. I love seeing people just pop into the drawings. Yeah, Larry. <laughs> I thought so. Because I think in eighth grade graduation, the guy, when he announced your diploma or whatever we got called you Larry. <laughs> yeah, Catherine, I said this earlier, actually, that if you're not a Deadpool fan, you can really draw this and make him Spider-Man. So all you're going to do if it's Spider-Man is you're not going to draw the swords. Um, you could put something else in his thought bubble. And then you're just going to change the pattern on his body. So you'd put that little spider emblem and you'd color him more red and blue. Um, where with Deadpool, you have red and black. But essentially, they are really a very, very similar costume. That's a funny memory. You guys all just got to go down memory lane with me a bit right there. So I'm just going to now outline all of these little shapes.
And there are a couple things I will color in with the pen. Let's put this little glove finger in first. So I'm going to color the gloves in black. And like I said, you could color all of the black portions in with the pen. Um, so they are real dark black. I just didn't do it because I felt like then you wouldn't see the, um, the overlapping as well. I kind of wanted two different shades. The swords look like wings. <laughs> Let's put this line in, this little shoulder pad. Can't see what I'm doing there. There we go. Sometimes my own hand blocks my art. So tomorrow we are doing our um, doodle page. Uh, let's go to the movies doodle page, which will be kind of images that'll make you think of movies. And then we finish off um, our movie uh, week with Little Shop of Horrors on Saturday. Oh, that's awesome. He made him a Batman. I mean, you really can make this guy a lot of different things. Yeah, if he's Batman, what? You just give him little pointy bat ears, change the mask a little bit. So I'm just leaving that little sliver for the white of the eye and then coloring in the rest of that mask. And then that is it. The rest I'm going to color in with um, pencil. I still will make a couple areas darker even with the pencil. Um, But for the most part, I'm going to color him in a little bit on the light side. And see, you end up with that little heart shape once you erase. Just with the fingers. Oops. Rosie, was that the first time you'd seen it? I know someone in here said they had never seen it. And I said, oh, you have to watch it. I can't remember if that was you. Okay. Now let me come in. I'm going to go ahead and color my hot dog. I have got to do something about this squeaky chair. Mm 
I'm going to get Mr. Stacy on the case. Fix the squeak. Oh, the music is so good. It's just a really, I mean, Steve Martin in it as the dentist is so funny. Um, oh, did you watch it yet, Catherine? The little ladies that pop up singing. It's good stuff. I really like it. <laughs> no, he won't bill me. <laughs> So again, the taco, I'm just kind of doing some things more of, um, so they look kind of like lettuce, a little red, either maybe it's salsa or it's tomatoes. Oh, you mean um, you haven't watched uh, Deadpool. That's what you meant, not Little Shop of Horrors. to use. Here's my red. My little black pencil is hiding down in here somewhere. Oh, you've also never seen Little Shop of Well, both. Okay. Yeah, Deadpool. I mean, you have to Deadpool is definitely not everybody's cup of tea. I, and Little Shop of Horrors might not be either, but it is a musical and it's, um, while it's dark, um, it's, it's funny as well. Deadpool's a little more raunchy would be a good word for it. Um, so it's funny too, but it's more sarcastic and a little bit crude. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors does have a lot of music um, in it. I mean, it, it's really a musical. But it could be a little bit, a little bit scary or slightly inappropriate as well for kids. Depending on the age of your kids, there's some things even in Little Shop of Horrors that you would, um, there's stuff in Little Shop of Horrors that you would have to explain. It's not your favorite drawing. I know a lot of people do like Deadpool, though. A lot of kids. I mean, it's it's funny to me um, how many do. Um, I have a friend whose son really loves it, and um, he's never seen it. But I think you're just kind of drawn to the images of him and some of the images that you see of him, he is being kind of goofy. So I think you kind of can tell that he has a sense of humor. Not that it's everyone's taste of sense of humor, but.
Yeah, Jennifer, we really, I tapped into a lot of the old, the classics. <laughs> And I got to do the eyes. And thank you guys for loading your pictures. Um, I know a lot more of you have kind of been posting them on the page. Some of you are going back. You know, that's even something you can do when you have a little free time. If you don't have time to do it right after you finish your drawing. I've seen some people who just take a bunch of pictures. They've got maybe 10 or so drawings laying around that they haven't taken a picture of yet. And they will just add them all to albums. Um, that's a way to do it if you don't necessarily want to do it every single time you draw. Uh, but I like that you're adding them because I like going in and looking at them and seeing what you do. And um, you know, a lot of you, uh, there are, I mean, there are artists in here that blow me away who are really quite a lot <laughs> better of artists than I consider myself to be. Uh, but again, I think we all have kind of our own style. Um but I've seen a lot of you who are improving, you know. Um, there's a woman named Stacy. Oh, Stacy, when you're watching this, I'm going to give you a shout out. Um, who, quite literally, I don't know that I ever see her miss a drawing. Um, and her drawings are spectacular. If you didn't see her ET or her gizmo, they will blow you away. Um and, you know, if you look through even all the drawings that she's doing, um, you know, she's improving and she's a tremendous artist. Uh, but, you know, we all, the more we do it and the more we practice it, um, the more you'll improve, you know, your craft. And I think some of you maybe never drew. And so you're newly learning and you're improving as well. Um, some of you maybe were you know, you enjoy drawing, but you weren't making the time to do it. And now you are and you're improving. I mean, my drawings are improving doing all this just um, in the amount of time it takes. Or, you know, when I pre-draw for you guys, I sit and I think about, well, how am I going to explain how to draw this? Because that was till I started this group. That was really nothing I ever did. I never told someone how to how to draw something, not even much with my son. We kind of would watch other YouTubes for that. Um, so. So I like, um, I like when you take pictures and you document it because I think it gives you a chance to, you know, go back and look at your pictures and see like what you've done in the time, um, in the time you've been here and how much you've improved, you know, look at your very first one compared to now. That's why I think it's a great time to, um, put these all in a book for yourself, buy a little art portfolio and just drop them in. Um, I can actually link to one on, um, Amazon, if you'd like. There's one that I've ordered. Mine is way overfilled. I need four of them by now. But I also do all the private drawings, so I have more drawings than you guys will. And I get people who, you know, there's a... Um, a woman named Dawn, who's my friend's aunt, and she likes to take greeting cards and then she replicates the drawings. Um, and I love that. She's just finding other ways to like draw and to um, 
be creative. And a lot of times that's why I like making albums when I have a private drawing, you know, and you guys don't get to be a part of that. Um, but I like to share the artwork because sometimes you might just be inspired by the artwork and you might see something in a private drawing and think, ooh, I want to do that. And, you know, enough of these classes, a lot of you could draw on your own. You could look at a drawing and then figure out how to replicate it, figure out how to draw it yourself just by looking at it and thinking through all your lessons here, like, how would I break this down? Where, what are my shapes? And I guess that's what I hope I've helped you with is, you know, that eventually too, you'll be able to kind of do this on your own too. Oh, and some people I know are drawing right into a sketchbook. You know, they're just leaving it inside a book like this. And then you just have your built-in book. I don't ever do that, um, mostly because um, I feel very cramped when it's, like, attached to um, the binding. I like to move it around so much um, that sometimes I think I've always been one who's ripped them out of the book. Oh, yes, the Circle Mountain. I love those. I, I want to do more of those, those like circular drawings. Um, after doing the whale one, um, you know, I got requests for a private drawing and they wanted to do a landscape. And landscapes are just tough because it it's not so much the teaching of how to do it, but the amount of time it takes to color a full piece of paper when you're doing a landscape because when you're doing a landscape you really kind of need to color it in oh gosh it takes hours I mean for those that did the sip and draw with the kind of vineyard looking um delta water scene it took us forever on that and, and it wasn't the drawing it was the coloring so I really love those circle drawings because I think it's a fun way to Give yourself a landscape without filling a whole page. We're going to do more of those. And I like that, Terry. I like that you screenshot that and you're going to kind of draw it on your own. It's not a very difficult drawing to follow along with. And there we go. There is our Deadpool. Yes, we were up past midnight on the Delta. It takes forever. Like whenever anyone asks for a landscape, I kind of cringe like, oh gosh. Um, I'm going to erase just a little bit in there. All right, there we go. There's our little Deadpool. I'm gonna just write my name. And my age. So thank you very much. I know this might not have been everybody's cup of tea, but you know, that's kind of what this group is all about. We kind of have to draw some things for all of the people that are in attendance, um, even I have drawn some things in group that I don't necessarily love that aren't my favorite, but I do them because people request them. Um, so thanks for joining me along with this one. We will be back tomorrow for a um, movie doodle page. So that one will not be um, colored in when you see it because I will upload it to the group as a coloring sheet for those that don't love to draw but love to color. And post your drawings, share them with the group, share them here, share them on Instagram, wherever you feel like sharing, and I will see you tomorrow. Happy drawing! <laughs>